Hi there, welcome back. You did an excellent job. It is indeed exactly 11.10, so thank you. Um, listen, a few pieces of housekeeping before we begin. MIT Sloan score is in fact rash uh, raffling, rationing, raffling, <laughs> they may be rationing as well. They are in fact raffling a whole course worth $2,000 and almost none of you have entered. So enter and you can go and become a you know operations engineer or something. It'll be cool. <laughs> I promise. Um, uh, and our partners, the Hartford, are giving away a cool new uh, uh, Kindle. So you should definitely enter for that as well. Um, we are going to begin with our next group of young innovators under 35. This next segment will be led or begun by Shaoling Zheng, who is an assistant professor from Stanford. Shaoling. Good morning. Uh, my innovation is a simple peel and stick method. And this method can make solar cell stickers that can be attached to virtually any substrate. So conventional synfilm solar cells are fabricated on either on glass or silicon wafers. And they're rigid, heavy, and opaque. Imagine if we can fabricate solar cells on plastic or paper that can significantly broaden the applications of solar cells. However, the challenge associated with paper or plastic substrate are they cannot sustain the high temperature required to fabricate the solar cells. So we treat the solar cells pretty much like a pizza. When we bake the pizza, we use the pan that can sustain the high temperature required to bake the pizza. But when we want to distribute the pizza economically, we use the paper box. So we apply the same idea to solar cells. So the way we do it is that we still fabricate the synfilm solar cells on silicon or glass substrate as usual. The only modification we need to do is to insert a metallic layer between the solar cells and the substrate. And then we soak the whole structure in water. Inside the water, the metallic layer and the silicon substrate can easily separate within a few seconds. Then in this case, we can peel off the solar cells from the original fabrication substrate. Now with the active component of the solar cell, only a couple of microns, which is extremely flexible, now you can attach it to any substrate, for example, to the back of your cell phone or to a business card. And this is a very robust method. As you've seen here, what you see is a solar cells, solar cells that are fabricated on silicon substrate. The circles are the solar cells. And after the peel and the stick process, the solar cells have been transferred to my business card. And they remain identical. And what's important is the initial silicon wafers are very clean and shiny. They can be used again to make the solar cells, just like the pizza case. You can bake the pizza again. And that's an important cost-saving factor. And very importantly, the efficiencies of all the solar cells we have tested remain the same. That indicating this method is robust enough and it does not degrade the solar cell performance. The peel and the stick method can really go beyond the synfilm solar cells. If we replace the synfilm solar cells by thinking about as any synfilm electronics, the method could impact display technologies, could impact synfilm batteries or ultrasound sensors. So my invention is the peel and the stick method, and my name is Xiaolin Zheng. <laughs> 